I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. <laughs> Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years will only be equivalent to, say, about a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? <laughs> quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and <laughs> be, <laughs> to be able to protect you in the village. Ho, 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 No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own feet. No, no, no. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from a great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Jump! When it's time for the planet to die, <laughs> you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? <laughs> It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of a planet. What's that? The sounds of the stars and the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. <clears throat> what was that? <laughs> that was a scream from a plant. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come... They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? <laughs> to save the planet? <laughs> But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bogenhagen! <laughs> oh, the book. I need a book again. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place is gone busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Don't worry, my machine will run away. Now go and invite your friends. <laughs> it is gonna be a hell of a ride. <laughs>